can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Stumped? No, I, uh, I will attempt to jump and keep moving. Did you, did you question the person when you bought that shirt? <laughs> did you? because this is radio? No. <laughs> it's an orange watch band for those of you at home going, that's weird. That is so untasteful. Is this a recording device or an actual Now, the OED defines design, and I think this is a very useful definition. I've looked at a lot. To form a plan or scheme of, to arrange or conceive in the mind. So the essential notion is putting the conceptual structure together for later execution. And it is the separation of the design from the execution that really represents the first demarcation of design as a discipline. And so, People like Bruno Lashi, who did the great dome in Florence, were both the designer and the contractor. Whereas people like Christopher Wren, who had the commission for the 66 churches after the great fire of London, was the architect, but not the contractor for building all the 66 churches, as I understand the, the arrangement. So about that time, we began to see the development of design as a, as a separate enterprise. Today, it has come... as a separate enterprise. Today it has come to the point where probably most of the people doing design in most fields are not able with their own hands to make the things they're designing. They don't have the experience of having done the fabrication. If we look back at the mechanical inventors of the 19th century, most of those either could go in the shop and make the thing they're designing or they had been through apprenticeships in those arts and really understood how you make things. And so this is a disconnect that has occurred due to specialization and creates one of the problems.